Oh, America. I wish I could tell you that this was still America. But I've come to realize that you can't have a country without people. And there are no people here. No, my friends. This is now the United States of Zombieland. It's amazing how quickly things can go from bad to total shitstorm. And why am I alive when everyone around me has turned to meat? It's because of my list of rules. Rule number one for surviving Zombieland? Cardio. When the virus struck, for obvious reasons, the first ones to go were the fatties. Poor fat bastard. But as the infection spread and the chaos grew, it wasn't enough to just be fast on your feet. You had to get a gun and learn how to use it. Which leads me to my second rule, the double tap. In those moments when you're not sure the undead are really dead dead, don't get all stingy with your bullets. I mean, one more clean shot to the head. And this lady could have avoided becoming a human Happy Meal. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. It wasn't long before the zombies began to get clever. When you're at your most vulnerable, somehow they could just smell it. Can't a guy take a dubber in peace? Don't let them catch you with your pants down. Rule number three, beware of bathrooms. As zombies began to outnumber humans, well, that's when you had to cut all emotional ties. If the girls in your neighborhood are now fucked up little monsters, well, maybe it's time to stop driving carpool. You had to focus on your own survival, which leads to rule number four. Pretty basic. Fasten your seatbelts. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. down there is me. I'm in Garland, Texas. And it may look like zombies destroyed it, but that's actually just Garland. Months since patient zero took a bite of a contaminated burger at a gas and gulp. Just two months and I might be the last non-cannibal freak in the country. I may seem like an unlikely survivor with all my phobias and irritable bowel syndrome, but I had the advantage of never having any friends or any close family. I survive because I play it safe and follow the rules. My rules. Ah, 
motherfucker. Right side. I found a place to go number two. Another rule to surviving zombie land, travel light. And I don't mean just luggage. I've always been kind of a loner. I avoided other people like they were zombies even before they were zombies. Now that they are all zombies, I kind of miss people. So I'm on my way from my college dorm in Austin, Texas to Columbus, Ohio where I'm hoping my parents are still alive. Even though we were never really close, it'd just be nice to see a familiar face, or any face that doesn't have blood dripping from its lips and flesh between its teeth. Thank you. Uh. What are you looking for? Nothing, I just, uh, I have this list. No one back there but my duffel bag. Uh, what's your name? Stop. No names. Keeps us from getting too familiar. You almost knocked over your alcohol with your knife. Um, oh. It's okay, you don't have to. No. Where are you headed? Uh, Columbus. You? Oh. Tallahassee. Mm. Mm. Awesome. Uh, no, one for me. One and done, I always say. I said that once. <laughs> 